Alright guys, here's the epilogue. Uh, varies in difficulty slightly. Uh, first mission being easy, uh, next two not so much, but it's three in total. We get to visit all three races, so let's go. Brutal. in this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. sideways real fast these shadows are tearing apart our ships we're not gonna last long out here the voice is coming from up ahead we have to reach it my forces will investigate are slowly consuming our warriors. Strike true, Templar! Amon's minions are coming from that rift. Destroy it! Go forth. Purge the corruption. That voice... It is my former master. Tassadar! Do as he says. to you in dire need. Now you have come to this realm. Here I am prisoner. You must free me from his grasp. Whose grasp? Ah, the Queen of Blades. What a pleasant surprise. Nerud, I thought you were dead. Without war, we Zel Naga, return to the void. Here I live on, but you will not be so fortunate. 
Doesn't Kerrigan know by now? Nobody truly dies in StarCraft. Get ready, Artanis. Narud's forces are heading towards Jim's position. My swarm will be there to help. My Templar will join you. In the name of Tassadar, we shall be victorious. Alright, um, so you don't get any choice over the Spear of a Dune abilities that you get here. I like to kind of think of it as the cannon stuff that, you know, Artanis is actually using the entire time rather than the stupid shit that you chose kind of thing. And like, oh, apparently Warp Harmonization is cannon. Apparently nothing but deploy a pylon was, was good. Uh, good, of course, Solar Lance, and uh, of course the Protoss Condoms are here, and uh, Time Stop, and Reconstruction Beam, so we're pretty Gucci here. Uh, all fine abilities, although I, I really don't like making kind of actual geysers that I have to actually make people go mine. It kind of annoys me, and I should actually make a pylon. Uh, and I should go help him out right now, actually, this guy. So the, old, the good old gang got back together. And we're gonna go fuck up Amon. Uh, I'm gonna fucking maybe do this thing. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. Emergency shields. Might as well just screw this thing up. There we go. We did it. There is no time to celebrate, friend Raynor. Narud will surely send another soon. We should use this time to advance. So Stukov is over here, like literally just like, like everybody from the gang is here. So we're gonna make carriers, obviously. Um, I, basically, the, you get kind of just a random assortment of units that you would kind of be able to choose from the campaign. Uh, but we're not building carriers right away because we need another base and there's one like right up here and there's another one like right over here. Um, but we only need the one to get, our, uh, get ourselves started. It's too much for us to kind of uh, make carriers now, I find, so. Uh, but it's not like there's really a time limit on this map, and it doesn't appear to really get any more difficult uh, if you wait, so... I don't know, it doesn't seem to really matter. Now, uh, we're not going to Colossi, but these are the, um... Uh, the ones with the burning damage, and obviously you get Annihilators. Spear of Adun. This is Hyperion Actual. There are several strategic positions up ahead. We should make a point of securing them. A fine idea, Admiral. If these locations can be cleared of enemy forces, we could establish forward positions. Some other things you get, you get a Havox, which we're going to build one of those, definitely. Just for... it's a it's a good boss for, to get range on that. Um, what else do we get here? Uh, we got the Stalkers, which with the uh, shield regeneration when you blink. Uh, Sentinels, which are excellent. Uh, High Templar. Uh, and the Dark Templar Nerezine type, uh, which have, like, the, the fury attack. But there's detectors everywhere, so I don't really bother with that. And, to be honest, I, I wasn't going to really make that much in terms of, um... Uh, we weren't gonna make that much, anyways. So, uh, the reason we make carriers here, uh... Dropping some troops at your front line, Sarah. What do you say, Artanis? You feel like joining in? We gotta go help her out because she's about to get killed by uh, one of those big ass guys. And I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother with that guy. So we don't want her to die. So might as well just fucking take out this shit. Yeah, that's a lot of crap here. Let's go back so Kerrigan can actually help us out. I'm gonna make two more. Fuck it, just kill that thing. Alright, is he attacking now? I guess he is. So I just use the shields for the shit. Because at least they get cut out of the help as well. And I'm gonna just... Construct, uh, construct additional pylons is apparently what I'm gonna be doing right now. All right, we got it. And I guess we can take out this guy too. You actually get like a good assortment of abilities. But I like to use the time stop when I'm trying to really breach into high ground. And I think, I think we're done with this. Uh, she doesn't need us anymore. We're not going to lose any, anything else here. And we're going to also make another Annihilator. Okay, so the first place I like to breach is this one. Just because uh, 
Well, it's either that one or we start going for the expo. And I like to do this one just simply because it adds a bit of a... They won't attack as frequently into our base, so I can make less defenses, essentially. That's kind of why I, bother I do that. Although, we can start going for the carriers first, so it's either one. Uh, so if you want to go for the base first, which I guess is what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to go down this way. So we take, like, just minuscule amounts of damage whenever we're inside one of these things. And I'm going to just focus that guy down. I mean, we got Reconstruction Beam, and here we have uh, an attack coming for us. So we're going to just put two lasers here. Maybe, like, one right here. Right on. My boys are setting up some defenses here. Let's just wait for everyone to come up here, and then, yeah. Because I think getting the base actually first would be a good idea. The reason why I'm like, this is pretty easy, this entire mission, actually, to be honest. Um, but if you go ground, it might be a bit difficult near the end uh, to really breach the high ground and shit like that. So that's why I just make it easy on yourself and just don't do ground, I would say. I know carrier victory fleets are, like, a meme now, but seriously... It is honestly the best way to play. Okay, so we can stop time here. And we'll just kind of, like, just go in right now and just snipe these guys up. And now we need to get one of our uh, probes up there. The AI isn't very useful here, but at the very least they don't just they don't kill themselves. Let's go get some of this stuff going. Alright, we're gonna have to also make some more units here. Make another guy here. And we're also gonna take the opportunity to make some more Stargates. Raylor, my forces are inbound. Protos Commander, we could use your assistance. We're gonna have to, unfortunately, I think, uh, deal with an attack right here. Uh, well, they're right here. We're gonna try and wait for a sec. Because it looks like I kind of kited them over here unintentionally. Got another one of these thrashers. Let's take it out. We can just shield it. It's fine. Why did my probe start mining that? Their forces push forward. This bastard dies today. Actually, we'll just we'll use this shield to maybe go over here and destroy this stuff. Actually, no, we're not. I'm a liar. Not doing anything of the sort. And this guy can be added to the Nexus ho Hockey group. And then we send a bunch over up there. And I think we're good for now. Even though I haven't really changed anything with regards to how I... Oh, we need a forge for cannons. Forgot about that. Oh well. Alright, now we got uh, carriers to make. Uh, so we're pretty good now. But this this is super easy to make here. Continuously kind of make them like that. And we should also make the other simulator here. So the, the AI will always like just fruitlessly push into these things. It's just up to you to do it. And carriers are honestly the best way of doing it. So this is why we make carriers. <laughs> not, not a very, uh, like deep game, I would say, this 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 map at all. It's just, as I said, you make carriers and win. And that's it. And, like, just use your... The, the abilities are great, because, like, it just makes it even easier, so... We're gonna do gas... We're gonna prioritize gas, just because that's the problem. There are some gas pickups here as well. I should mention, though, that, um... So, obviously, the plotline Tassadar is, for some reason, alive. So, it's, it's like the, the running joke I keep making, which is that in StarCraft, nobody truly dies. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna kill this stuff, actually. Just in case I miss one. I fucking missed one. So... You think the swarm is your ally? The queen of blades can only spread suffering. She is the enemy of all life. Oh, 
So this is kind of the reason I make. Um, Sarah, I'm sending over a few of my troops to help. Artanis, if you want to jump on in, we'd be much obliged. Yeah, it'd be quite rainer. I don't want to help in, help with anything. Yeah, look at this shit. <laughs> I think I is that the attack? That must be the attack he's talking about. He's like, if you want to help in, like with my three marines, you have been much obliged. All right, so she's going for Kerrigan, so we're gonna kind of go down this way and around. All right, let's go make more carriers. Not enough minerals. Is this the best you have, Narud? Time for you to die again. Oh, I accidentally. Okay, I have fat fingers and I press both at the same time. My bad. I, I, you see, I press F3 and then I, my finger slipped on F4. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Come on, guys, let's push. <laughs> so yeah, I pretty much make three star gates and that's it. Uh, I mean, that's all you realistically need. Where'd my other carriers go? Oh, they're right there. Alright, so we're just gonna do this then. Alright. Maybe do like a small thing like this. Let's get rid of most of them. So, wait, what I normally do at this point is I kind of just focus these rifts down so they stop making things. And probably should have made some units here to absorb some of this. That's a fine. And this is why we have the, the, the warp gates, um, as I was saying. Just because it adds a lot of, um, it, it makes it safer for us to, like, reinforce and things like that, you know? I really hate the voice actor they chose for that. It sounds nothing like Tassadar at all. Like, I, I kept thinking, like, they were just memeing me and just being like, it's, he's gonna betray me at some point, right? But no, it's fucking, they were being totally serious with that. They were being completely serious, which kind of upsets me. So as you notice, I didn't actually put a whole lot of, uh... Oh my god, I wish you would shut the fuck up. I know there's gonna be someone out there that's gonna go, Oh shit, it's Tastar, it's fucking cool as fuck, but no, it's not. I'm just gonna make two cannons right here. Alright, we're gonna first do this beachhead so they stop attacking through this kind of way. Because you see how they keep going for a base. And you can kind of see why I kind of am going for the carrier route. Because, like, they're basically invincible. It wouldn't be a Blizzard game if the main character didn't shut the fuck up. Minions, defend the Terrans! Give Narud a taste of your fury. Nice work. We're securing the location now. Jim, expect some more support coming your way soon. Uh, it's one of these things. So, uh, as you can see, these minerals are running out over here pretty pretty quickly. Uh, but we're gonna just, like, laser a bunch of this shit. Uh... And no matter what, he's just gonna be like, I'm going to defeat you until the very end. It's quality writing, what can I say? Alright, we got some more shit over here to do. I mean, Kerrigan is the one who kind of struggles the most, I find, with uh, dealing with the AI, but you don't have to babysit her, you just fuck off and do whatever you want. Okay, I think we can actually use some more gateways, but at the same time, uh... This place is not doing anything, so... Let's just take over this one, and then we're gonna get the last expo, actually, to be honest. Yeah, this is a this is a carrier victory fight. I mean, you have reconstruction beam, and they, they heal each other. The area is secure, and these defenses should keep it that way. Do some more, uh... 
upgrades. Also, the, they like to mine the... the uh, oh shit. Get out of there. There you go. They like to they like to mine with, for whatever reason the, the interceptors because it's like the first thing they see. And for some reason, as I said, this place is just completely safe all the time because they kind of just go past it. It's strange. Oh, uh, I apparently got all my uh, units killed there. What the fuck is this going on? The area is secure, and we are implanting a hive cluster now, my queen. Our mutalisk shall join the fight shortly. So I always kind of bring some sort of unit in to kind of help out. Uh, and in this case, it's now mutalisks. The swarm had one purpose. To assimilate the Protoss and create the hybrid. Now, you are no longer I'm not sure if he's evil enough. Do they? As you can see, I haven't really used time stop in a while because I haven't felt the need to. Set up defenses here. We need to keep pushing forward. Okay, maybe we'll do that now. Minions. It appears we have a guest. Greet him. Oh, whoops. I just made, I did shield again. I was gonna fucking do this thing right here to that guy, but whatever. Do I even need to do that anymore? Sure, I do. Take out all that. See, the time stop is just amazingly overpowered. Like every time that's up, I basically wipe them out. Now let's press forward while we still can. Probably should mention, if you look at the map, there's these little uh, exclamation marks, and that's basically if you clear this area, they'll make like kind of like a forward outpost here. Not lose a carrier today. Let's uh, produce some more carriers. So the other base is somewhere around here. We're gonna... Actually, I don't think we are gonna do anything with this guy. So we're, we're gonna actually push this way now. And the stalker can just stay there. Ah, here it is. Alright. Let's get a probe ready to get over there. And make the base. Down. As you may or may not be able to tell, we're just kind of shit fucking this mission with carriers. Because that was the easiest way I determined how to do this. Alright, so sometimes when when you kind of push in, when they're making like a, uh, a breach head kind of here. They kind of send so much shit, so it's actually good to kind of keep your carriers around. Not gonna lie. Water of the Terrans. All forces to the Terran battlefront now. It's gonna. We settled this today. Yeah, he's he's already dead. Oh shit! One of my carriers. Oh, I lost a carrier. Way to go! So who's ready to turn up the pressure? Pressure washer. So we're just waiting here. They're trying to make like a kind of a beachhead here, so just let them do that thing, and then we're gonna make a crap ton of cannons here. Kind of make them around like this, and like for some reason, like Artanis keeps like pooping out like little. So not Artanis, Tassadar. I I'll never get used to it. He fu he fucking died, as far as I'm concerned. It sounds nothing like him at all. It's so annoying. All right, here we go. More carriers. Where's my uh, stalker? Is there like some more? Uh... See, we look on the map for like a little white. Uh, there you go. These these guys. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, let's get two more over here, and then two more on this guy. There we go. We're good. So now we're gonna push this way, just because we're trying to like make a, as I said, beachhead constantly. 
Like, they just, they keep rebuilding stuff there, so they act as a nice buffer. So realistically, this base should never really be attacked anymore, but if it does, you just get smaller lands of shit out of it. Can I be honest with you? You could probably... Guys took some damage. Looks like Sarah's in a heap of trouble. Come on, boys. Time to be a hero. Isn't it don't be a hero? I am the voice. Additional personnel inbound. Our production centers are getting prepared to supply Thors to the front line. Also, they're totally incapable of dealing with uh, some of these little attacks. You guys deal with this. Like these these void thrashers would absolutely wreck them if you weren't here. No mercy. I wasn't planning on it. I think we're almost at the point though where we're at full we're at cap supply. We need to kill two probes on purpose though. Or we can kill the stalker. But I think killing two probes is a better idea. We should use this time to secure more ground. They dead yet? They attacked that void drift. Oh no. Unfortunate that that didn't work. Alright, let's uh start going into here then. So I uh, oh yeah, what I was gonna say before, you can actually time stop and just run to the end and kill uh Narud over there if you want to. That's actually something you could totally do. And we might actually do. Defense is down. This is it, Narud. This time, you don't come back. Yeah, hashtag fuck Narud. It's honestly the stupidest game I've ever heard of. Alright, I'm just trying to let her establish her little beachhead here. Otherwise, she's gonna struggle with it forever. Oh, looks like an attack did get through to here. Why don't we just do this? But uh, uh, maybe we should make a. Oh, we can't even make a. We can't even make a probe over there. I'm trying to let her make a beachhead here. Alright. Yeah, I'm getting mighty tired of. This. It's just a constant stream of stuff, and she doesn't like send enough in. Let's just uh, let's just do the last uh, little place here. Why are they all frozen? I did I did not freeze them. That's that shit is still on cooldown or whatever. Uh, that's actually a lot of shit here. Okay, I may have to deal with that. Raiders, take that thrasher down. There we go, we got the last one. Well done. This outpost will greatly benefit the swarm. Our ultralisks shall crush Naru and his minions. Looks like those are all the locations we should need. We owe you, Hierarch. The Thrasher has been defeated. Victory. Are you guys ready to win? I mean, with this many carriers, how can you lose? I'll probably find a way. Just like, th these things annoy me. You know, fuck it, we're going in. I like how the interceptors go here. They can't circle him, so... <laughs> They're on the edge of the map here. That's it, you win. Son of a 
Artanus. You must come to me. It is Tassadar, my mentor. How can this be? Honored one, to see you bring such joy to my... Tassadar, a form I chose to inspire action in the one called Zeratul, in you. The prophecies Zeratul followed, the result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zelnaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah, you don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, we'll... Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed. There's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. I just want to mention, yes, that was Michael Dorn, apparently. I had to actually look that up, and that was apparently him. And in the Google search results, I also saw um, who plays Warf, like it's it's like it's spelt like W H A R F. <laughs> Fucking hell! All right, so that explains a lot. Anyways, yeah, so Artanis isn't uh, sorry, uh, Tassadar isn't actually alive the entire time. What a plot twist! Uh, this this thing's easy to do actually. You could just rush it at the end with the carriers. I just felt like doing all the optional objectives. Like I, I rushed it at the very end, but I just did the optionals for whatever reason for fun. I mean, you don't get anything out of it. It's just whatever. You finish the mission. Congratulations.